Welcome back to Lawn Dude Unearthed. Sitting here on a Sunday night, real time, actually preparing for my week. And I was actually kind of wondering what everybody's schedules are like, but more specifically the owner operators out there. As I said, um, I'm no perfect carbon copy on how to run a business and uh, organize a schedule, but I can definitely tell you how I do it as a um, husband and father, family man, which you don't hear much about between YouTube and, you know, IG and uh, anything, any type of, a uh, lot of podcasts out there, they're not really talking too much about how to balance the family life out. I mean, yes, we do like to hear about the business side, um, but there's also family life in there. And I know for me, when I was YouTube, I was so big on keeping, you know, my personal life, my personal life. And um, I am a private person, but I do also understand that a lot of the battles that a lot of owner operators out there dealing with is how to balance out, you know, being that great husband and being that great father, just balancing out a regular schedule, a regular routine. And I'll tell you how I do it, uh, even though, like I said, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm still trying to come up with different techniques on how to do a schedule. Now, one thing I can tell you is I'm sitting here on a Sunday, um, just finished my route for the week. Pretty much um, I dispatched my route for the week. It could, of course, the subject to change each day. But I like to kind of have it ready for the week um, for the most part. So it's not so much I have to do because my weeks are so crazy. And I'm about to describe uh, basically how my weeks go. I'm not really going to go into like, I'm going to pull out detail on every minute and every hour. Because while I am trying to be candid so that people get a gist, I guess, of... Uh, you know, behind the scenes of what owner operators who are family oriented deal with, you know, I still am private and for security reasons, obviously I'm not going to sit here and give you every minute of the day how I do this and what time I go here and here's the person's address. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, of course, I'm sitting here kind of uh, joking around here, but to make a long story short on a Sunday that's my one day off of the week it's my one non-negotiable when it comes to working and I say that in quotes because as business owners you know a lot of times like I just said you're preparing so there is little things that I may have to do on Sundays like today was a wasn't my average Sunday uh, I needed two front tires on my box truck have my man uh, Tony with Tony's Roadside Service. Shout out to Tony's Roadside Service. If you're in the DMV area, D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, look him up and call him. You can look at my IG. I've uh, shared stuff for him plenty of times. Uh, he is pretty much one of the only ones out there that will do mobile tire service for any type of... Um, whether it's your box truck, you know, your equipment, your trailers. he He's a call away when it comes to those type of services. And I definitely recommend it. But anyways, today was a rare Sunday when I actually um, had to get those tires changed. So he ran out, took care of that this morning. A lot of times I'll do like, you know, strength and conditioning uh, training with my kids because they're both in sports. You know, I try to get out there and like ride bikes with them and, you know, stuff of that nature. Although not every, um, not every Sunday works the same. Cause like I said, it's usually my day off. So we do different things. We've done, uh, we've gone out and done, um, you know, done some jobs with my wife, 
We've gone out to visit family. There is one yard I would cut on a Sunday, and that's um, that's my grandma. It's my wife's uh, grandma, but hey, that's grandma to me. <laughs> you know, I'll go up the road and take care of her grass on a Sunday because that's a lot of times it's the only time I can schedule to run up there and do that. And other than that, Sunday, I try to make chill. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a Sunday out the month where a lot of times I have my, uh, you know, the coalition that our motorcycle club is a part of. You know, we'll have that meeting one of the Sundays out the month. But uh, every Sunday's different. It's usually real chill. I mean, like I said, sometimes I do my pre-trip on my truck to get ready for the week. But that's really the gist of it. Uh, I guess one thing that I would say has changed this year. I learned this plan from uh, Cornell Mack. Most people will know who that is. Cornell Mack, long care power moves. Him and Cedric still do the long care power moves. But he has a payment plan that I decided to incorporate this year where you get all your clients to prepay for the week with a card on file. And if that card gets declined for any reason, you skip the service for that week. That's to ensure that you get paid every week. So I've done this strategy and I've loved it so far. So that's something I got to add to what I do on, um, Sundays, uh, a lot of times I'll send an invoice either on Friday evening or Saturday or sometimes even Sunday morning, but usually before Sunday. That way, if they want to dispute whatever, they can go ahead and do that before I charge that card, which would be that Sunday. And I have actually haven't received any flack from that like I thought I would. But anyways, that's another thing I would say I do Sunday. Um, let me see here. Mondays, it's crazy how my Mondays go. It's usually, I start off with a commercial, a condominium. And then I have anywhere from 19 to 24 stops on one Monday. Usually it's like uh, the cookie cutter yards. And as most know, I have the uh, Right ZK61 with the... Uh, uh, along with the Bradley 32 inch, I have a 21 inch mower and that's my usual main mowers for Mondays. It works perfect for them cookie cutter yards. And this is the crazy part that most will understand. A lot of times in the mornings, there are some mornings where I'm able to take my daughter to school, which I love doing. Uh, but my son goes to school first. I always at least make sure he gets on the bus before I leave because if he doesn't make the bus, I'll drop him off on my way out in the morning. That way my wife only has to take our daughter that day uh, into school. And, of course, if I have extra time in the morning, a lot of times I definitely enjoy being able to drop her off too. But either which way on Monday... I leave out in the morning, go to that business park, or, uh, yeah, that's what it is, business park, I'm having a brain fart over here, like I said, Sunday night, <laughs> but I go start out there, and then it's a bunch of homes, single family homes, uh, I think it's like a couple townhomes mixed in there, I don't really have too many townhomes, and it's a pretty tight area, so, like I said, one one of those days, it's uh, about 20 to 24 stops, one of those Mondays. The other Monday has 15, but it's crazy. They both take about the same amount of time because the one that has 15 has a lot of those backyards where I got use a 32-inch, which actually speeds up a lot of time. But at the same time, because it is so many gated yards on that route, it does tend to take, you know, a little bit about the same time. I guess a little bit longer because it is less stops. It's taking me about the same time as I do 24 another route up to 24. 
So, uh, the other part I don't mention, I guess, is on a Monday. I am solo. Let's say I start average. I'm starting around 8 o'clock on my first property. Normally, I could be done with my whole entire route anywhere from, from 3 to from three to 5. It varies. And yes, I'm saying with up to 24 stops, I can be done within that amount of time. Um, my route density is pretty decent that day. As long as I get that route done on Monday, the rest of the week is pretty smooth sailing. So my Tuesdays, my setup stays the same, except I add the um, ZK72 dually to the uh, box truck. And I did forget to mention that up in the front of my box truck next to my 32-inch uh, stand-on, Whatever miscellaneous piece of equipment I need first that week goes up there. So most days I have a stand-on blower. My stand-on blower stays up in that corner, so it's ready for that Tuesday. But by Wednesday, say I have aeration, spring aerations. A stand-on aerator will be up there. Say I have service calls to go spray weeds or go fertilize the property. My uh, spreader sprayer will be up there, so it changes but either way, the mowers always, each day is the same for whatever day I'm using said equipment. Okay, so Tuesday is usually my commercial day. Most of my commercials, rather, where I'm doing a shopping center, HOA. Um, geez, I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, but basically, but yeah, my commercial day do commercial properties they take longer especially the hoa and the uh shopping center they both take a lot of time sometimes i could be on um that shopping center for up to three hours it's rare because i got everything pretty systematized i've been doing it for about four or five years so i've I'm, for the most part have it down to a science where it doesn't take me a ton of time now i have homes mixed in with this so, usually, say, let's let's go ahead and say 8 o'clock start time. I am usually can be done on one of those weeks. I would say I'm done anywhere from like 2.30 to 3. And then on, um, I would say on the other route, the other Tuesday route, I'm out probably to at least about 3.30 or 4. Sometimes a little bit later than that. And then Wednesday, a lot of times, see, I flip-flop depending on which route I'm on. One of them, I, will, I prefer to have the 72-inch mower on the truck. Uh, the other one, I prefer to have the 61-inch ZK, but I usually... Basically flip-flop which one of those I have as my main mower. And I only bring one of the mowers because I care a lot about weight. This is a day where I go south and do a lot of my um, stops. Um, it's, I call it my commercial south route because I actually do a an HOA and I do a pet salon at the beginning of this route. And I have some homes while I'm down the road. So... I take care of that route with that equipment, and I'm saying basically the same time every one of these days. I'm saying what the routes are, and I'm going to go into, like, start and finish. So it's kind of weird how I'm explaining the schedule. You know, Wednesdays. Uh, that's Wednesdays. Thursday, it's usually this uh, 61 comes off or... The 72 comes on or stays on, depending on which one I took on Wednesday. Because I do my big estates this day, uh, every on um, Thursdays. So all my properties usually just require that 72-inch mower. And most of the time I can get that done within the same amount of time. I guess time we're talking about is... Um, Usually, 
within about eight hours, I can finish my routes each day. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. And Fridays is always miscellaneous. You know, whatever, landscape project, uh, mini skid steer work, bush hogging, air raiding, uh, like right this time of year, real time, we're in the spring. Uh, going into, uh, what is this, uh, second week of April, third week of April. Yeah, third week of April. Basically, um, it's most jobs that I get on Fridays now, but all my miscellaneous tasks usually are scheduled for Fridays. Okay, so every morning, the way I do things is a lot of times... I'm going to have to keep it real. Um, I don't get a lot of sleep at night because if I'm in the sun, I do that overnight hours when everybody sleep. Take care of that. And then just your mind goes through so many things as a business owner. I would love to sit here and that like it's sunshine and rainbows and you go to sleep, you dream so peacefully and then. You wake up and you're just ready to conquer every round and just dominate. But no, it's not how it goes. When you're especially in business and you're trying to like restructure like your company or you just owner operator, there's so much on your mind that uh, I know for me, I've been trying to get my cash flow, my business up. I've been trying to get my bottom line, you know, trying to get my bottom line down. And my top, we'll get my top line up and keep my bottom line from going any higher than what it is. If anything, to get it to go lower. So these are things that keep me up at night a lot of times thinking. And as a man, uh, as the as a husband and a father, I have more reason to sit up and think. <laughs> so I'm doing that every uh Every uh, night, early morning, whatever you want to call it. So whenever I fall asleep, when I fall asleep, so I wake up most of the time naturally in the 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock hour. And what I've been trying to do is that is the time when I've been trying to do a better job of uh, reading the Word, reading the Bible, because uh, I haven't been doing the best job of that. But as of late, what I've been trying to do is get up at those times and actually do uh, read my word, pray, get myself together pretty much. Then I like to a lot of times check my emails then too. Um, Sometimes it is quite rare. Sometimes I will actually get on Call of Duty Mobile. I know some people are like, oh, this guy's into video games. That's not really the thing. I found that Call of Duty Mobile is one of those stress relievers for me. So I will get on that to relieve some stress every once in a while. Then, you know, it gets it to the point where getting the kids up, making sure, you know, helping uh, helping my wife out with getting them out the door. That's pretty much really the morning part. Obviously, go out, start your route, finish your route. Let's see, days when I come in, depending on what time I come in, sometimes I can pick my daughter up. My son rides the bus home, so it's different for him. Um, a lot of these evenings... You know, the kids have practices. Our son plays baseball and our daughter plays soccer. (laughs) So their schedules often kind of conflict. Uh, But, you know, we make it happen. Usually because I have serious, I would say, I have serious FOMO when it comes to our kids, fear of missing out. I just don't like missing anything practice-wise either. Some will go like, well, why is this a big deal to go to practice for for them? It's a big deal for me because I love actually watching them practice, seeing how they're developing, seeing if there's anything that they might be uh, 
for lack of a better word, lacking at, you know what I mean? So that instead of criticizing them on, you know, maybe certain moves that they're doing while playing, I can actually help them with that so that maybe I can show a new technique and, you know, so on and so forth. But basically, sometimes, you know, our son will have a game during the week. It's a day a lot of times when I'm not doing anything else. Uh, so that's the beginning. When it comes to the uh, end of the day, a lot of times I try to get down by a certain time so I'm able to pick our daughter up. Because, you know, obviously I say I'm not like most. So I'll do that. And it depends on whose practice I'm at as to what I do. And I'm not getting in specific days, you know, that their practice and all that is uh, anyways. Like I said, that's one of the things I will keep candid. If it is like my daughter's practice, I'm down on the field watching her practice. Uh, because it's how our practice is set up. When it comes to our son's practice, I'm able to park the truck in basically the same spot every time, and I can see the field and everything from where I sit at. I can see the whole entire practice. I can see how he's playing. It looks like... So, it looks like with me seeing that side of the field, I'm trying to base my perspective on it. I sit angled. So I'm able to watch the whole practice while at the same time, most time, that's when I hop out on the ape on the uh, iPad, on the iPad, <laughs> and essentially start doing some work, doing some work. And then when that's over, obviously we go home, eat, and sleep, and get ready for the next day. Saturdays are usually off limits. Uh, I guess if it was a real emergency, then yes, that's a different situation. But that's how it goes a lot of times around. It's all about how you decide to set your own, just set your own schedule. Because uh, it's too many out here that like to fly by the scene of their pants <laughs> instead of making a plan. So pretty concrete what uh i was just talking about as far as plans go because obviously uh it's been worked on or i don't know i guess i don't really have too many like i don't have too many issues here to where i could really say Oh, yeah, that's a problem. You know, blah, blah, is a problem. <laughs> but, like I said, man, this is how I do the scheduling. It works for me. It is still crazy. Oh, my goodness, it's beyond crazy. But still, this, uh, this should be about it, I would say, as far as my schedule goes. I know I'm going to come up with something as soon as I click record off. But uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. But you stay warm. Uh, well, I said stay warm. <laughs> We're going to spring. So everybody stay cooled off. Stay hydrated, man. That is very key. And before I close out here, I want to shout out my boy, uh, Sevilla, uh, Jacob with Green Branch Landscaping. Definitely, 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 definitely. Would like to uh, basically get into that discussion more and more as we go. But this is how I do my schedule. Like I said, it's not to be all end off for all those new guys. You come up with a schedule that works for you. No one else. As long as it works for you, 
that matters. All right, y'all. Take it easy. I will see y'all with the next video. Peace.